Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for waiting. Apologize about the introduction there, a few technical issues. My name is Tommy Reynolds. I am a portrait and commercial photographer, and I'm also a travel photographer as well. I'm here today to talk to you about dramatic on-location lighting. And I'm going to be talking specifically about two products in particular, and that's the Lion 580 ETTL flash gun and the hybrid uh, 360 ETTL, which is kind of like the Schwarzenegger version of a of speed light. It's kind of like a bigger version of it. Uh, the reason why I want to talk to you specifically about these two is because these, both these products are both portable and light, uh, and light and reliable, and it's really important for me in my line of work. And to give you a bit of background of, uh, of what I actually shoot, so I do a lot of commercial work with Sony, uh, with Psycho Entertainment, with Universal Music, so I do a lot of work working with uh, bands and artists and musicians on location. So for me, I need portable and reliable gear, and that's why I use the 580 ETTL or the hybrid. In conjunction with that, I also use the QuickBox PixPro uh, 70 centimeter collapsible softbox. So this is the exact gear that I will use on location when I'm shooting uh, clients, and, and that's whether that's abroad, uh, whether that's just down the road. So the reason why I love this little flash gun and what's great about it is this actually runs on a lithium rechargeable battery which won best uh, flash gun of the year last year. We're actually picking up our award later on for this flash gun. And the, what's good about choosing a rechargeable battery over a traditional AA battery, so your flash gun traditionally has probably four AA batteries in it, but this is a lithium rechargeable one that has the capacity of 12 AA batteries. So for whatever photography you do, if you're a wedding photographer, or if you're a commercial portrait photographer, or an event photographer, this is gonna last you all day, 12 AA batteries. The recycle time on this is between 0.5 to five, four and a half seconds. So if you're at full power, this will last you 650 shots at full power, which is amazing. And what's great about it also, and why, What's good again about it being a lithium rechargeable battery is that as you're in your traditional flash guns, as the battery is kind of dying, usually that recycle time kind of gets longer and longer and longer and it really throws you off your game if you're shooting outdoors. But what's good about this is the recycle time does not increase as the battery life diminishes. It stays at the time until it dies, which is a great, great feature. So I'm gonna be put, I'm gonna put this on the softbox now and we're gonna take some shots and see what kind of results we get with this super portable system. So what's great is you can do high speed sync on these, so you can shoot upwards of one eight thousandth of a second, which is plenty of room to kill that ambient light if you're shooting in the direct sunlight. So I've recently just got back from Sri Lanka where I was doing some work out there with a charity and I used the hybrid system and I, need, and I chose the hybrid system over the flash gun because obviously this is a lot more powerful because this is running from a battery pack. This hybrid system takes a, about 450 shots at full power, but this full power is a lot better obviously than the speed light and you stand more chance of killing that ambient exposure with this. So this is kind of like the big brother of that. So that's, it's great again for events and all sorts and weddings, but this is again portable and still fits in my camera bag when I'm going abroad as well as that is. So we're gonna take some photos and see what we get. But one of the things I also like to do is I like to make it dramatic as well. So I'm gonna shoot at about 1 60th of a second just to kill the ambient light in here and to create something similar to what we were shooting here yesterday, but we're gonna fire it off so you can see what it looks like today. Okay, you come this way. That's really cool. Head tilted this way for me. Kind of tilt this way. That's it, but head looking this way for me. That's it. That's it, chin up for me. Okay, just wait for those to come through. I'm gonna dial my ISO down one notch so I can get that a little bit more dramatic. And I can even just come over a little bit more and make it even more dramatic because of the angle of it. So I'm gonna come pretty much quite side on for this next shot. <laughs> so you can see just with one light, you can create a really dramatic look. And if uh, combined with our Pixar Pro backdrop here, if you're an event photographer or if you do headshots, you can walk into any corporate business and create this really cool, dramatic, professional looking setup with only one light. And with my shutter speed set to 160, I'm killing this ambient in the room and pretty much lighting with only just my 
with my flash gun. So if you are lucky to have an assistant um, with you, even for weddings, this is great as well. So when I do the occasional wedding, I will have an assistant with me. So I might have this on the light stand and then I might have an assistant with me holding a reflector as well. It's just so that I can fill in some of that shadowy area on the right side if I didn't want it as dramatic as well. So again, super simple because again, this can fold away in my laptop, in my, in my camera bag. So I wouldn't mind filling in the, the shadows for me. And we're gonna just take another one and we can kind of see it before and after. So kind of swing this way a bit like we did it just in the last shot here. That's it. A little bit close for me, Chris. There you go. Okay, so in a moment we're going to see kind of a before and after. So this is our before and after. I'm going to just cycle through that, see if you can see the difference there. So that's, you can see the shadowy area on the right side. And then when we flip, it just adds that tiny bit of feel and it kind of creates that really nice two to one ratio that I really like. I don't really like to light it flat because there's no kind of real drama there because I like to, I like to light really dramatically. And I can go really dramatic, thank you Chris, I can go really dramatic if I turn this really side on and go really side on here. Turn head more this way for me. That's it. That's it, kind of looking towards the light for me. That's it, chin up for me. Okay, so in a moment, we've gone from like a uh, still dramatic but kind of nice soft and we go for a real dramatic look. It's just down to personal preference. All I'm doing is changing the angle of this light. I've not changed any settings on my camera yet. It's all about the lighting, the, the, uh, the angle of light and how it relates to the camera. So I can come really close on. I can almost be towering above Kiana and get more of a, whoops, and get more of a kind of a, what's the word? Kind of, it just fills in, the, fills in the face a little bit more and makes it, it's a bit, this, is good for, this is good for weddings, so if you wanna do like a bit of a close up. So one other thing that's also really popular when you're doing weddings is clamshell lighting. So that's where you would have one light above and then fill in the shadows underneath. And it's called clamshell because we're literally clamming the, uh, the model in our light here to kind of create and this is great for headshots as well if you want to do it a little bit closer. So I've been kind of going medium up until now, so I'm going to go a little bit closer in so that we can see. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. A little, little bit higher. Just turn a bit of an angle, give me a bit of an angle. That's it, looking this way, that's it. Again, just one light and you're getting a really cool dramatic, almost like a cinematic effect, isn't it? It's like, and you get that really nice fill in. So we can see that Chris just lifted it a little bit. If you are in direct sunlight, it may be best to use the white side because the silver might be a little bit too harsh. So the white's always great for, for when you're in direct sunlight and the silver's better if it's kind of more of a cloudy day. Here. So, What's also cool is uh, sometimes it can be a windy day. So we're going to try and emulate what a wind, uh, how, how introducing wind is going to create some really cool dramatic effects combined with our dramatic lighting setup. All right, so we're going to go for a more of a dramatic here. And we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of hands up here. So you kind of keep waving it out. You're going to just keep playing with the hair for me. And we're going to hopefully create some really dramatic effects. No idea if this will work. Just kind of head and shoulders. Let's give it a go, all right? That's cool, that's it, just keep playing around like that. We're just gonna keep firing. With this sort of thing, it's kind of, you just keep firing until you get something that kind of works well. That's it. Really, really nice, really cool. Okay, thank you, Chris, for now. All right, let's just have a look at those. It's gonna be a hit and miss with this sort of thing, but this combined with our, <laughs> but this combined with our dramatic lighting setup, we can create some really cool effects. But let's try that one more time. Let's have one more round and I'm gonna angle the light a little bit more so that we uh, make this even more dramatic. Again, I'm only lighting this with just one light and this is my go-to because it's so simple, portable. I can move it around whenever I need to. All right. 
All right, let's go, Kiana. Okay. Kind of lean in just a little bit towards me. I'm going to kind of feather it a little bit. Okay, that's it, cool. Just every time you hear the shah, just wait to just fidget it up every time. Just kind of just give me something different every time. That's it. And then try, try somewhere you're not looking directly at the camera, kind of looking down towards this way. That's it. That's it, kind of look, looking down and then kind of towards me. So head towards me, but kind of looking just off. So head and sh so shoulders towards me. Lovely. And get a little bit closer. That's it. Keep rocking that. There you go. Really, really nice. Just a few more like that. That's it, and just kind of looking off, off center. That's it, and then eyes to me. Cool. All right, we'll see how those look. Thank you, Chris. Again, with this sort of thing, it's kind of a hit and miss. That's really cool. I think it looks really good. I think it looks really cool. So again, we kind of push that light off so we can get it a bit more dramatic. It's kind of like, my go-to kind of ratio is kind of like a 45-45. So 45 degrees this way, 45 degrees this way, and you get that nice kind of highlight and shadow ratio. If you kind of go front on, then it looks a bit flat, like you're on camera flash, you don't want that. Always want to get your flash, or get your light, sorry, off of camera so you can create a dramatic effect. There's no way you're going to create it when it's on your camera. So you always want to try and get it off. Um, we've got it, we've got the Hydro 360 as well down here, which is the uh, big brother version of a speed light, as I said earlier. So it's going to obviously give you more power than, than the speed light will. So this is more for kind of out, uh, outdoor, if, it's, if the ambient light outdoors is really sunny, like middle of the day. Um, otherwise, the speed light's good as well. And as I said, it won best flash of the year last year. Um, that's about it from me. If you want to come and see me or the rest of the team, uh, please let us know. Thank you very much for listening.